Finally, tonight our End Inside segment. Commentator Christian Schneider says there's a state law on the books that may ensure your new co-worker will be a law breaker. Here's Christian Schneider with tonight's End Inside commentary. Another state legislative session is about to come and go, and it will still be illegal for businesses to take criminal records into account when deciding to hire or fire people. That's right. Under Wisconsin law, you can deny employment to applicants because they smell like pickles or have excessive nose hair, but not because they went to jail for stabbing someone in the eyes. Currently, criminal record has to be ignored in the workplace unless it has a substantial relationship to the job at hand. But nobody knows what that actually means. You may remember the case of the Milwaukee Public School employee who was convicted of throwing hot grease on a 20-month-old infant, giving the child third-degree burns. When the school tried to fire him, he sued, got his job back, and even received a cash settlement. He argued he was actually throwing grease at the baby's mother, which meant he wasn't a threat to children. Apparently, the law agrees. What might be most galling about this law is that it gives the same discrimination protections to criminals that are reserved for things like sex, race, and religion. Involuntary classifications. Somehow, I don't think Dr. King marched in Birmingham to protect some dirty toucher's right to get a job at Arby's. This law puts small businesses in a catch-22. It's just a matter of time before a violent ex-felon shows up at the corner futon store looking for a job. If the shop hires him, they could be endangering their employees and customers. But if it doesn't, the shop could be the subject of a long, expensive lawsuit. Changing the law wouldn't mean that employers couldn't hire ex-cons. Many still would. It would simply mean that businesses would have the right to decide what's safest for their workplaces, instead of the government making that decision for them. Christian Schneider is a fellow at the Wisconsin Policy Research Institute. His opinions are his own. Next